and welcome to the Canvas Fast Track. In this two and a half minute video, we will discuss utilizing the discussion tool to create individual journals or personal blogs. While keeping a science journal or a creative writing blog is nothing new to education, moving this into the online space between a learner and their teacher is a definite modification of technology integration. The first step to this modified use and trick with discussions is to create a group for the personal journals, then within that group, you'll want to create more groups than students enrolled in the course. That way, if students are enrolled after the start date or creation of the journal, you can easily add them to their own personal group. This personal group space will now allow you to start a group discussion where each student will be able to work, post, and create their own work privately with themselves and with you as the teacher. Once you assign your topic, like post a weekly reflection of what you learned this week, what you felt you struggled with, what you felt you excelled at, and what you're excited to learn about next week, students will start participating in the journal discussion. This is an ongoing post that will now date and timestamp when they're logging the information. This journaling idea can be used in multiple courses at multiple grade levels. Think of science journals, writing journals, reading logs, or personal blogs. By utilizing the ongoing discussion post, you will now have an extensive portfolio of student work throughout the school year something that you will truly be able to monitor and track progress with. We will discuss in a future Fast Track video the idea of using groups as project-based learning spaces and light portfolios in Canvas. In the Fast Track series, we've not spoken of grading much because it's very individualized. However, for this journaling example, we want to share how easy SpeedGrader makes grading these individual posts. Canvas collects all responses and organizes them in order, so in a case of a video journal, you can quickly scroll through, watch week-to-week -week responses, and video respond back to your students, enhancing their feedback experience. Journaling can be used across the curriculum and modifying this task from an individual assessment to a more compiled collection of work. It's a huge change in student learning. With the type of students we're teaching today, adding in that video element will be excellent. Students are able to go back, look at time, they'll watch their videos, might seem vain, but they'll be very excited to watch their own progress of learning throughout the year. Your elementary students to high school students to even college students will enjoy watching them back. Thanks for watching. Please comment below with any suggestions or requests for future Fast Track videos.